Hi, it's me. I have no idea if you can hear me or not. <laughs> this is so strange. Uh, it's so hot here and sticky and gross and disgusting that I am actually at my favorite lunch joint. And I'm still trying to get me set up on the laptop, which is very strange. But might be closing in on it. I can't hear myself, which is something that's really strange. So I can't tell. I can't tell if anything's coming through. All right, AT sees me, but can you hear me? That's what I was afraid of. Well, I do have one other option. Hang on. Okay. okay. So, so, can you hear me better now? Let's see. On. Oh, and AT's gone. She says she's going to have to go. Well, I have the audio, the audio recording, recording now. Uh, uh, I am at, at the Lumber Lord General Store, store which is where we had all of the parties, my birthday party, and uh, uh, thing twos from its party. And I am sitting, I am sitting, on, sitting on, actually, actually sitting on, on one of the, one of the renovation, renovation style, style. Air, air, conditioner, air conditioner tubes. tubes. I guess that's the I way, they, that's put the way they put them in these old buildings instead of putting the vents. They have just pipes. So, so that's what else? What I'm sitting on. And I'm hearing it on the side too. So that's disconcerting. But, but, but hi. So, so it's been forever. forever. And uh, what, what I wanted, wanted to do was kind of give you a tour of this place, and I think I'm going to be able to do that because. I won't be able to do much more. So I have a couple of things to show you before this time. I'm going to talk about this talk of this on Friday's episode. This is okay. label this is there. Zap it. it. Amazon, Amazon, like eleven dollars. I'm going, going to click it so you can hear. It is a very really powerful click. And, and you can see on the bottom there two little plastic coated prongs. prongs. So those two little plastic coated prongs have metal inside. And so when you click it, it gives just enough of a charge to zap, zap, whatever you put it over. You put it, it over. It over uh, um, Mosquito bite, mosquito bite, spider bite, spider bite. It hit it, it, it super, heat, super heat, whatever, whatever, whatever is over, over. Can you, can you? And, and changes, changes the chemical composition enough, enough that it doesn't, doesn't itch anymore. Do you know what you know for me? For me, is huge. Oh, now there's oh, now there's another echo. echo. Oh, lovely. lovely. Someday, it's all going to be fine. Okay. So we'll see if that kills the echo problem. But the zap it. I didn't get that right. 
highly recommended. Very, very good. So that was one thing I wanted to share with you. The other was also from Amazon. Um, it is a pencil roll. And yes, and it is so awesome. It works so well. Um, I needed something compact and quickly cleanable um, for carrying around art supplies this summer. I haven't been knitting much. It's been too hot to even touch yarn. But I'm moving my lunch to the side. It comes with very nicely anchored cotton twine. And when you start unrolling it, you have a little zipper pouch so you can put stuff in that's going to roll away badly. And then on the inside, you've got all the little elasticy things, plus the fold down flap over the top. So I have to be careful because I've got my watercolors in here. So I have the little watercolor kit, which I'll show you in a sec, and then watercolor pencils. And I took all the watercolor pens out of here because I was using them with my nephew this last weekend. We had um, the belated birthday celebration with my sister and my older son, whose birthdays are the same day. So we had fun. Um, and I had a chance to hang out and get crafty with my four and a half year old nephew, which was fun. Um, this particular little watercolor palette is made by Dollar Rowney, D A L E R dash. R-O-W-N-E-Y, and it has on the bottom, it has a little thumb thingy in case you need that. I have not yet, but I always have my towel. It comes with its label, so you know what you're looking at. And then the paints, the brush. You don't need much more than these. And the colors come out pretty well. Um, and they're not, obviously, anything that's uh, inexpensive and small is not going to be as rich color-wise as you get with a big, heavy-duty, expensive palette. And um, yes, try that, zap it, on Tigger, Tigger Bites. Um, I think at Amazon, all you have to do is put in zap it and You'll find it. And um, it's like 11 bucks. It was not as much as I expected. And I read all the reviews and they all said, wow, this thing works. It doesn't look like it would work, but it works. <clears throat> A couple of the reviews said, wow, this looks like really cheap plastic. And I don't think it is for what you're getting, but I was surprised at how inexpensive it was. Um, so with watercolors, I was trying to do something um, one night I was just, I was bored, it was hot, I was miserable. I didn't want to get up and do anything else or go get anything else. So that is the cabinet underneath our TV boxes and some little sculptures that Thing 2 made. And that is one of his unicorn uh, mugs that had flowers in it from his bar mitzvah. So that, and yoga mats, rarely used yoga mats. So that was all done with um, actually ink pen, just a fine point ink pen. I'm wondering if I have one on hand. Yes. No, yes. It is, I think it's the G2, yeah. The G2 Pilot gel pens. These are really, really nice if you get the fine, the fine point. Let's see if I can actually focus on the fine point to this. It's a super fine point. No, we were doing pretty well there for a while. Oh, well. Um, and that one doesn't bleed. And then the other one that does bleed. Oh, I left it home because it's really good. It's the Pilot, the gray, like metally, metallic, speckled, toned. Uh, we used to have them in the 80s. <laughs> Uh, 
not felt tip pen. Well, I guess it is technically a felt tip pen, uh, similar to one, but that one bleeds beautifully so that if you paint over, let's see if I have an example. If you paint over the ink, it bleeds marvelously. Oh, yeah. So there on the cab top, you can see how I didn't add any color for the taxi windows yet. But you can kind of see how I blend the shadow uh, uh, out of the ink. I thought I had another one in here that was more bleedy. Ah. Hmm. That's the tequila I painted while I was waiting for my flight to Tampa. You'll notice that the two, at least two of the three tequilas are completely empty. It was a long wait. But that's all, that's all bleediness all along there. And all of the gray in there, in the little cups. The gray that you see over here is from Faber-Castell gray pens. They come in three, a pack of three cools and three warms. And, and yeah, I've really liked those a lot. Um, other things. Next week, next week I'm going to have to figure out either uh, uh, a less transient way to pull this off or we may just have to break crafty chats until the weather, the weather breaks because it is, it is so hot and humid. I mean, the insulation is helping. It's better than it was, but maybe better than it was. But the fans are so loud. I can't, I can't record. I can't even hear myself think. So I've been discombobulated since, it, since the weather all turned nasty. Um, but, but I do need to give a shout out to Joey, my son's friend from school, who may or may not be watching this episode, but mostly watches to mock me. So, so hey, Joey. Now I know. I know you guys have been doing so much stuff on your own, and I haven't been on Facebook much. I'm still working on the uh, training that I was on when uh, when I was in Tampa and trying to fix some stuff on Craftlet, the website, uh, I've gotten some really, really useful comments, questions, and feedback on ways to make the site more user-friendly. And, um, and so if you have any ideas on things that would make craftlet.com more easy to use, it would be so helpful because I'm, you know, I'm 11 years in. So to me, it just all looks like the same old, same old. But we have people coming there for such different reasons. People who've been listening for a long time who come there to just listen to whatever they, they normally do. And people coming in who don't know what the podcast is. Who don't know what podcasts are in general. And, uh, and so there's a lot of educating that has to be done. I'm trying to do more and more of it graphically because I think that might be useful, faster, more clear. I don't know. Aside from that, I'm kind of stuck organizing something as big as an 11 year old podcast show notes and player site is big. So, if you have any ideas, please, please, please send them my way. You can email me at craftlet.com slash, I know you can email me at heather at craftlet.com. And AT says she loves the pens, but they don't like Crane and Company stationery. No, I'll bet they don't, but I'll bet you the, oh, I do have one. The Pilot Razor Point. That's the sparkly gray. Has the yellow top. 
hard to find in the United States, but you can get them on Amazon, but only in a pack. Um, but I'll bet your Korean company would like the old school flair, the old school felt tips. Trying to figure out how the phone. Well, that's close. Um, I don't even know if these have medium and fine points. Oh, yeah, it's a medium point. Oh, and they added, I don't know if you can see this, they added a little protective plastic kind of triangular sheath on that so that it's not such a long exposed felt tip. It's going to make it harder to use on its side to make big broad strokes, but there it is. Anyway, so there's those pens. Um, the other thing is we went to um, Ithaca when we were visiting my sister, and they had all sorts of fiddle toys and stuff in the gift shop at the Ithaca Children's Science Museum. I think I think that's the name of it. Anyway, if you're in Ithaca, there's only one, so you can find it. This was my favorite fidget toy. It's not very much. Um, it's not very big. You can see like next to a thumb or finger or pinky finger. Um, it's not very big, and it has the elastic, stretchy bits inside. And then it has the blocks cut, so you've got the cut there and the cut going that way. Which means it can be crumpled and crunched and moved around and it's kind of indestructible. And if it does destruct, it's just elastic. You can replace it. So that was cool. And at Tuesday morning, I got this little carrier. This thing fits inside my bag, my just canvas bag that I drag around with me. And it, if it's not packed full of stuff, it collapses down remarkably small. And I have the bigger um, watercolor kit. which is, is a little bit more used, you can see. Um, but it doesn't have that much more paint in it, comparatively speaking. It does have a little water tray there that you can take out and turn around and, and clip on the side. But I usually use it for extra. But yeah, so that carrier was, I'm not kidding, so yay, yay Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, if you don't have a Tuesday morning, you're like a, a discount, kind of like a dollar store, but, um, but maybe like a little bit more upscale. It's stuff that other companies were going to be, were, were offloading and Tuesday morning picked it up. So there's some good stuff every once in a while. And I'm working on it's getting organized. Oh, I hear people coming. I may have to go. It is my bullet journal. And part of the working on has been sketching more. And Doing monthly planning that's color coded. And playing with stamps. But the big one, and I think I showed this to you guys before, is playing with fonts. I've had a horrible time finding a font book. I found one that was a book of sample fonts. And it went into detail about how to do them. And I suppose if you've never taken a calligraphy class, that would be really useful. But all I want is a bunch of samples, like a, like a sample book, like a Facebook for fonts. I can't find one. So if anybody knows where one is, I did get this. 
which is fun. And it's doodly. And some of the doodles are words. And I was going to pull a dog that I was playing with last night. So the flourishes have flourishes, and the word nails is made out of nails. And metallic letters, doodly letters, etch, the word etch is etched. But aside from that, and it's like two or three pages in the book. Nothing, nothing. I don't know what's going on. I'd assumed there'd be tons, and there are tons of individual pictures at Pinterest. I need something I can sit and look at. Thumb through, like an actual book book. And I am not finding it. So that's been frustrating. But uh, that's everything I have. Uh, next week, I will be able to uh, provide, provide it that it's not dripping, because I would short out my keyboard. Um, I will be able to get on the Craft Literati site at Facebook and get all of your fantastic stuff together that you guys have been working on. But the other thing that I wanted to do is so hot today. In fact, a couple of hours ago, it wasn't, and I was absolutely planning on coming here and setting up outside because they have a lovely little garden area out back. And I was going to, I was going to do the live stream from out there because they have Wi-Fi and, and I thought maybe I could pull it off. And not so much. So, sorry. Maybe next time, I hope. Um, that's it. So, so AT, thank, thank you so much for uh, for hanging around. <laughs> it was good, it was to, good see to see you, you briefly, briefly chat, chat with you by typing. By typing. And, and um, yeah, yeah, and we'll, and give, we'll it give it a go next week and see if I can uh, pull this off better. 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 Far more trying, trying than it should be. All, All right. right, people are coming. I'm going to go. go. Bye. <laughs>